you know, Todd, Todd, you mentioned headlines a bit ago, so let's get right into it because you and your daughter, Lindsay, recently made headlines when she announced her divorce from her husband, Will, on her podcast. Mm -hmm. And you did offer your support via Instagram, despite your tumultuous relationship kind of happening, which I have to just commend you on. I mean, I'm a daddy's girl. I love my father. And she said she would have love to have spoken to you about the issue private, privately. And obviously there's a lot to take in here and there's a lot of sensitivity around this, but can you walk me through maybe a little bit about what's going on? You know, have you and Lindsay sort of been able to open the lines of communication? Was that the first step? Has she reached out to you privately at all? You know, um, Lindsay has, Lindsay sent me a text message a couple of weeks ago um, asking if we could um, sit down with our attorneys present. And I'm not interested in that. Uh, Lindsay, no, you know, Lindsay was the catalyst for this whole tax investigation. You know, we now know that. Um, we now have the evidence that was turned over to us about a year ago. We have the phone records that show that she was communicating with this tax official and how they were, you know, how this whole thing was being set up. And all of that was the catalyst of Lindsay leaving the show. You know, Lindsay left the show. Um, and Lindsay lived in Atlanta. We're all in Nashville. And if you're not going to allow the cameras into your personal life, you know, then where is your storyline? Mm. And, you know, she's living, you know, she wasn't living here. She was commuting back and forth. And this was a decision that the production company made that Lindsay, there really wasn't story around her. And so Lindsay, you know, the show ended for her. And Lindsay has never reached out to us um, at all, regardless of what has been said on the podcast or what the press has reported. Um, it was heartbreaking to know the things that Lindsay had done, the stories that, that had been told to tabloids. And, you know, we found out that there was, you know, that these, these stories were being fed to TMZ, that they were being fed to these bloggers and that Lindsay was behind a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's heartbreaking. And, I don't, I look at it now because Lindsay is my firstborn and I will love her until the day that I die. But there are certain things in life that I don't think you get past. And um, unfortunately, I think that that's, that's where Lindsay and I are. Um, I don't know anything about her divorce. Um, I don't want any harm to come to her. I pray every day for God to bless her and to move her on, to give her a full life. Um, I, I also, you know, Lindsay, like I said, she's my firstborn. I will love her. There's not a day that goes by, regardless of the hurt that she has caused, regardless of the pain that she has caused, not just to me, but to Julie, you know, to, to her siblings, you know, going on your podcast or your Instagram and saying that you don't have a father or then questioning that if I'm your biological father or saying that you hate the woman who you went to at 18 years old and asked to adopt you after she's raised you since you were five, you know, to say that you have no siblings, that you're an only child. You know, these are things that she posted. And um, those are things that you have to be careful because anger is a tricky thing. And, and, and if you hold on to the anger, it becomes almost like the fuel that fuels you to get to allow it to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And I just don't have any anger anymore. Um, the hurt is still there. And I think that the hurt will always be there. Um, but I'm not looking to intrude in, into Lindsay's life. Um, we're, we're leading a very full life. And, and I wish nothing but the greatest of joys and blessings for Lindsay and for Jackson. Um, I don't, you know, a lot of people have spoken or I've seen it on social media. I bet Todd's happy now that Lindsay's divorcing because, you know, her husband was a, he never asked for her hand in marriage. That was all done with years ago. Will and I had squashed that. And to my knowledge, Will has always been a good husband to Lindsay. He's always been a great provider for them. Um, Jackson does not have a relationship with us, with our family. Lindsay never allowed that from the time that he was born. You know, she was very controlling over that, over her child. And I look back now through therapy and I realized that Lindsay was trying to hold on to her baby because her mother didn't hold on to her. Mm. And so I look at it now and know that she is a product. She's a, 
She is a child that's a product of a divorce and she carries that pain forward. And I hope and pray to God that that pain lessens every day. Jackson has an amazing relationship with Will's parents, uh, Carol and Anthony, and they have been wonderful grandparents to him. He loves them. And I hope and pray to God that that relationship continues to flourish. 